In this problem, we're solving rational equations by graphing. We're going to use the intersection method that we have been using throughout the course. I'm given 3 equals 1 plus 3x divided by the quantity x minus 1. I'm going to do one small thing to this equation, and that is I'm going to set it up by subtracting 1 from both sides. So I get 2 equals 3x divided by x minus 1. And I'm going to use that as the equations that I graph each side of this particular rational equation. So y1 is going to be 2 and y2 is going to be 3x over x minus 1. I'm going to set that up here in my y equals list on the left hand side. So I put the equations into y1 and y2 on the left hand side. So y1 equals 2, y2 equals 3x divided by the quantity x minus 1. Notice the use of parentheses, extremely, extremely important. I've got a standard window. I'm going to press graph just to be sure that I can see my intersection or intersections. So my rational function here is going to intersect the horizontal in one spot. It looks like we might have an intersection going on later on here, but I'm going to bet that that is kind of a horizontal asymptote for the graph and that we're not going to have another intersection. So I'm going to focus on this one here. So I'm going to do second calc number five, and I'm going to hit enter three times. And that's going to give me my solution of x equals negative 2. So what I'm going to write in the white space on the right-hand side is my solution, x equals negative 2. I'm also going to draw a representation of the graph, show the intersection of my y1 and my y2, and then label the x-axis with the solution. I need to be careful with the domain here of this function. And I'm going to set the denominator equal to 0, x minus 1 equals 0, meaning the denominator is 0 when x equals 1. So if I write my domain now as all x not equal to 1, I can see that x equals negative 2 is OK inside the domain. So my solution will be all right as far as a domain value. Now I want to show you something else on this second calc intersect process. And what I want to show is what happens if your cursor is in the wrong place. And I'm going to move my cursor over quite a bit so that it crosses over on here onto the right hand side of the graph. Now remember initially I was looking for the solution on this side, the x equals negative 2. Notice that my cursor is on the other side of, this would be my vertical asymptote, from the solution I'm looking for. So if I try to find the intersection here, it should give me an error. It give me, gave me a no sign change error. So what I would have to do is hit enter. I would have to go back through the second calc process, number five, and then see how my cursor is on this side of the graph. I need my cursor to be across the vertical asymptote over here. So I would actually have to move the cursor. Now if you're on the horizontal line part, you're lucky. If you're on the rational curve part, you're going to have to move the cursor up and then it's going to pop down and move up this other part of the graph. Now I should be okay because I'm on the left hand side of my vertical asymptote. I'm going to hit enter and that's going to verify that x equals negative 2. So if you get the no sign change error, go through the intersect process again and move your cursor to the other part of the graph.